Hello and welcome to the Voluntary Virtues Network. I am your host, the Mr. Ancap, and this is my show, The State Sucks. So, um, this video is going to be on transportation, right? So how the state is bullshit with transportation, why they're so sucky with it. I'm going to try to do broad strokes over everything ranging from uh, driver's licenses to speed limit signs to cameras on the roads, all that, all that jazz. Um, now this isn't a really big topic, at least not, not much I'm going to go very much in depth about since it is so big, but I will try to make this video at least somewhat closer to the 30 minute mark rather than the, um, the, the, you know, too short of a video. Because I know, I know my boy Shanklin wants his videos to be as, as long as possible while maintaining the timeline. Anyway, so... So, transportation is a pretty big topic, right? We've got everything from, you know, who can drive where, when, who can sit here or there, uh, licensees need to be given based on this criteria or that, and it's just a big uh, bit of a minefield, right? I mean, I, I knew people who were in uh, school, like 14, who had, like, their hardships, they actually could drive from, like, home to school. Because the, the DMV and the, the state as a whole does make exception for, you know, extreme circumstances. Like, oh, you, you're 14 and you have no way to and from school. You know, okay, well, because we want you to be in our indoctrination machine, you know, uh, we're going to give you your license early if you can pull it off. So what, and yet the rest of us all have to wait until we are, you know, 16 to 18 based upon the criteria by which we need to prove ourselves worthy. Now that I find really interesting. Uh, I don't see the point in creating restrictions on people when you're perfectly fine letting other people do it. You know, um, just just let people do it, man. You know, people show up, uh, they, they say they're ready to learn, they're ready to pass the test, quote-unquote. Uh, give them the shot. You know, they're either going to pass or fail. I mean, this is simple stuff. But as with the state, you know, um, they want you to play by a certain set of rules, which can only be circumvented if it's going to benefit them, right? Uh, if, if you didn't have a problem going to school, but you had a problem, you know, doing other things, like going to a job or whatever... Uh, they wouldn't give you that hardship. They'd be like, oh, no, 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 you're going to our, our, our indoctrination factories. That's really all we care about. So you don't get the special loophole. Now, another thing that's interesting to me is the, um, is the speed limit signs. You know, uh, that's, the, that's the biggest thing on transportation. And what's interesting is, do, do you guys know how speed limit signs are, are created or ascertain that number? Well, here's how it's supposed to work, quote-unquote. So, on a new road, you know, cops stake it out for a, you know, set period of time. Maybe it's a day, maybe it's a week. Uh, it's cops, so I doubt it's a month. But, you know, they, they sit there for some time, and they basically just find people's speeds. And they average out what the average speed is. They put it on a sign and say, this is the speed limit. Now, to me, this is interesting and odd. What is the point of putting the speed limit sign if you're going to do it that way? Because then all you're doing is just stating it the obvious, just putting up a fact, right? Um, <clears throat> this is the speed limit. This is the thing that you were going to do anyway unless you wanted to go slower or faster based upon your particular circumstance. All the state is doing then is laying down a decree that this is how you will drive, right? Nothing to do with safety, nothing to do with anything, just them saying this is the average speed. Now everyone must conform to it. Um, and if you don't, of course, then they have the right to assault and rob you and so on. Now what's interesting about this is that, um, you know, the speed limit sign can be messed with, right? If, if a certain, you know, area, you know, town, city, what have you, wanted to make a little extra money, they could artificially lower the speed limit sign. So let's say the average speed going through our make-believe road here is 60 miles an hour. Well, they could bump that down to 50, 45. You know, people want to go faster, because of the environment, because that's what they're geared towards. But now they're getting penalized. And why is that? Okay, why, why, are, why are people getting penalized for um, going at appropriate speed, even if it's not simply the one that's stated? Well, it's because of the quota system, right? The state makes some big bucks to make some good money off of this highwayman routine. And, of course, that's all the cops are in terms of speed limit signs. They're just the modern-day highwaymen. You know, uh, oh, they're hiding in their little bushes in the little dark waiting for some poor hapless sap to, to come on by, and then BAM! Ticket. I mean, it's just, it's silliness. Um, and it's not only that, I mean, what, what, there's also, like, with the, with the cameras, 
right? You guys have probably seen him, right? I mean, there's this little, there's this camera not too far from where I live, right? When I go out and I'm a, I do all the little routines, I do the oh oh I put the I put the belt over me and I, oh Teddy Chew and all that stuff, right? But I swear it to freaking science on high that um that every time I come to this light. That thing flashes the moment, you know, the, the camera takes a picture every single time I make that turn. Right? And I'm just like, what the... What you... Are you fucking with me, NSA? Are you fucking with me? Because it just... It makes me live in this constant state of fear and concern. Even though I'm playing by their ridiculously overly complicated rules. But what's interesting about the camera system is that it really does just... It, it punishes people based on accidents. Right? Oh, did you go over that line a little too much? Oh, did you... Did you did you drive just a little smidgen too fast through that intersection? Uh, did you did you uh, you know did you do X Y or Z? And the thing I don't like about that is, at least with the cop having to pull you over, there is a human element involved, right? An ability to look at the situation and ascertain whether or not it's worth the effort to run them down like a dog. I know this is cops we're dealing with, so they're not exactly, you know, moral paragons, but you know at least they do have a heart, whereas. Um, or as a machine, it's just it's programmed accordingly, algorithms, all that shit. It's cold, hard reality. And as such, much le much less concerned with that that human factor. Uh, not to mention when we look at things like um, like toll booths, right? You know, um, fuck, I haven't been to a toll booth in a long time. But um, you know, you, you you drive up, you go to the toll booth, you pay them the money, you go. There's another toll booth, you pay the money, you go. Well, what, I, what I've been reading up on is the fact that um, that the state now, you know, they, uh, they can see how long it took you to get from toll booth A to toll booth B in order to figure out how fast you went in between in order to write you a ticket. Right? That is some fucking psycho level stuff. So no accidents were caused. You weren't causing any disruption. Nobody's lives were in danger. There was no fear or panic. It's just after the fact, oh, we figured out you might have done something we didn't like. So BAM! Fines. Um, it's sort of like, imagine you could, you know, do... Imagine they came up with the Hindsight 2020 machine, right? And they put some people in it, right? And they found out that you smoke a joint once in your life back, you know, when you were 16. And they're like, BAM! Consuming illegal substances. Right? I mean, like, you know, no victims. There was nothing here. It's just pettiness. That's all it is. It's just screwing someone over because you can screw them over, which, of course, is simply the state's uh, fundamental existence. Now, with regards to the, the whole transportation as a whole thing, what I find interesting is that, you know, there are all those places, right, all those areas, wherein the states are much less restrictive over the rules. Like, you know, the, the stop signs, the turn here signs, the lights, the speed limits, all that stuff. Once they get less restrictive, traffic flows better. Accidents are less prone to happen. Just all good things when the state stops coming up the works. And the idea behind it is that um, if you make it so people aren't freaking out, right? You know, they, they're not wasting their time monitoring their speed for the arbitrary difference between 40 and 45 that isn't affecting their ability to drive, but it's affecting whether or not they're going to get jumped by someone in the bushes. You know, if you take away every single light and all these little, oh, you can only do this here when stuff, then people can actually focus on the other people in the road. You know, the people around them, the people that want to, you know, turn, and everyone's able to, everyone's able to flow a lot better. I found that very interesting, because this goes a lot into the whole, um, the whole texting and driving thing, right? That's another transportation thing. You know, everyone's on that, right? And they're on drinking and driving. They're on all of that. Of course, unlike with the anti-gun crowd, right? You know, the anti-gun crowd here is, oh my god, people have died. We need to ban guns. Of course, you bring up like the fucking 10,000 people that, what, die a year from drunk driving? Oh, well, we still... Cars are okay. Drunks kill people, not cars. You know, it's just hypocrisy. But what's interesting is distracted while driving is worse than drunk driving. I mean, granted, it's a, it's a banner thing because it goes from everything from cell phone use to rubbernecking to eating food. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's, it's worse than drunk driving. Right? And, you know, the state... The state's funny. Right? So they, they say that texting and driving is bad. Okay. Right? They get Mythbusters in on it. They bring in everyone. Don't do it, you little shit. Uh, and I actually had a pretty engaging conversation once where in, um... 
we were talking, and, you know, we talk about texting and driving. People say, oh, my God, people get in so many accidents. But are they getting into accidents because it's texting and driving? Or are they getting into accidents because these are young motherfuckers who are most likely to get into accidents, period? This is where the conversation came up. And I'm sure there'd be some overlap. But long story short, I mean, shitty driver's a shitty driver. Right? Um, but getting back on point here, uh, you know, the whole, um, you know, don't don't text and drive thing, what that creates, of course, is an adverse incentive structure because people do want to talk on the phone, right? You know, same reason they want to listen to music or have a conversation with their fellow in the passenger seat. All of these are distractive, by the way, but when you tell someone they can't talk on the phone while they're driving or they can't uh, text and drive, what you mean is they can no longer do this and this. They instead have to do this and, hey, you can hear me on speaker. Can you, hello, oh, God, you know. So that's what happens with the state more often than not when it when it when it gets involved in a market. Let's even assume it has the most noblest of intentions, which is very unlikely considering the entity at which we are discussing. But um, but yeah, it it, it always cr it, it perverts incentives and so causes uh, unforeseen consequences. So um, ah, transportation, man, transportation. Plus, the biggest problem with transportation is the DMV. I mean, South Park can make every episode they want, you know, trying to make DMV look cool. DMV is horrible. Just, just horrible. Uh, it's boring. It smells weird. It takes forever. And I'm pretty sure they will execute you if you have, if you smile. There ain't no smiling at the DMV. No one's happy to be here. <laughs> oh, the DMV. I love it. I sincerely do. But, uh, transportation. Oh, right, okay. While we're on transportation, we can, we can branch out a little bit into more market territory. There's also cabbies, right? That's a, that's a transportation issue. So, you know, um, much like with lemonade stands, as we talked about in the regulation situation, you know, um, the state will not allow the to profit off their own ingenuity. Right now, if I want to get in a car and I want to give people free rides around town, hey, the state's cool with it. If I want to charge people money to drive them around town, whoa, 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 we got to regulate this because you could murder people, you know. The state just wants to cut of the, cut of the profits. But actually, yeah, you know, the medallion system is is incredibly expensive, right? Very, uh, if, if it causes a lot of problems with new people who want to get their own, like, taxis, want to get, like, just, like, a thumbs up from the state so they can do what they wanted to do back when they first got the damn car. Uh, and so we're talking like years saving up, waiting for your chance to apply, to pay for. I mean, it's pretty much a, it's not as bad as trying to legally get an automatic weapon, but it's fucking close. And just for those of you who don't know, to buy an automatic weapon, you have to go through all the permits and licenses, get the right seals of approval, and you have to find an automatic weapon that's grandfathered in before, I think, 1986, because everything after that's illegal. Um, so it's, it's tricky playing by the state's rules because they overcomplicate things. And why do they do this? Why do they do it in transportation? Why do they do it in everything else? In order to instill a sense of apathy, right? Just in order to, to make you think it's not worth it. Okay, fuck it. Fuck it. I'll go do something else. And of course, this over the state of generations has led to the apathetic populace we have today. It's just too much. We're too, we're too tired of it. Just stop giving us the rule book. <laughs> no, daddy, no. You know, that's the, that's the state of our population. So, um, yeah. Now, transportation, I know, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a lot to say about transportation. Um, that hasn't, that hasn't already been said here, at least. Um, I, I do want to throw something out at you guys. Now we got, we got a little time to, to squeeze in here. Uh, the state sucks. I know I've been doing a bit of a, uh, a bit of a, um, you know, topic by topic thing. But I thought that, you know, I might I might try to branch out a little bit. I might try some new things. Like, sort of, you know, the state sucks. Here are some news stories that I thought, you know, messed with me. Or, you know, the state sucks. Let's just have a... Let's just, let's just take a moment to laugh at it. Ha ha ha. You know, I, I thought I'd try out some new stuff. So, aside from the topic conversations, you know, stuff like, uh, like with transportation, with war, with healthcare, with whatever... Do you guys have any ideas about segments? Because I, I will say I'm getting a little exhausted with the topical conversations. Uh, especially since we have we have moved outside of my wheelhouse, so to speak. You know, like, we're moving into territory I do not know that well. 
and can't speak as passionately about. Like, somebody mentioned last week, you know, they want me to talk about unions, which, hey, fuck, I, I get what you're saying. But, I mean, I know, you know, just the broad strokes of the union stuff. You know, the, uh, the, the force of, you know, law they bring down on companies, the uh, shakedowns of the newer members, the subpar work ethics, like all the stuff you already know. Right, uh, and the best people I listen to about unions are people who used to be in unions who can come tell me all the really fucked up shit that happens inside the political scheming of the of the unionized worker system, at least wherever the state legal system is concerned. Um, so you know, I mean, we we've moved outside my wheelhouse, which is a tragedy. I might do one on on. I, I have one topical conversation left. You know, this one was gonna be this one's my big one because I love it so damn much. But basically, um. Basically talking about guns, right? You know, uh, gun ownership, the state, and its fear of guns, like all that shit. Like I could do a whole, I could do a whole video on that. But um, you know, I'd, I'd also want to bring in talking about you know the pro-gun versus the anti-gun crowds. You know, the arguments presented, which arguments I like, which ones I don't. So that's another idea for a segment. You know, because guns are never leaving the news. The political left and the state as a whole don't like guns so it's becoming more and more of a thing that you know i hate your guns we're gonna take your guns for freedom i hate guns but i want to hire a bunch of guys with guns to come take your guns by force uh state is gonna state but anyway guys uh, that's what i got for you today on transportation i hope you know it, it, it helped you see some stuff i mean transportation isn't that isn't that complicated of an issue i think i think we can all agree on that it's just it's so cluttered with stuff you know, so many ways the state shakes us down. Like, I didn't even have to bring up, like, for example, I could have brought up seatbelts. Like, oh my god, seatbelts are bullshit. You all already know. Seatbelts are bullshit. I mean, how, how much of my fucking viewer base is, is part of the uh, uh, Free State Project? You know, up there where the fucking, where the seatbelts fly freely. You know, um, <clears throat> so you guys get it. You know, um, I mean, it'd be sort of like if I did a video talking about the war on drugs. What the fuck am I going to tell you guys that you don't already know about the war on drugs? Um, but yeah, guys, so... Like, favorite, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comment section below.